No, Celia does not need that sort of lightning power. But she does need a new battery bank, and we've come to Lauderdale to have one fitted. After a great deal of thought, we'd chosen lithium phosphate batteries. These were to be delivered and fitted here in Lauderdale. Our current AGM battery bank consisted of six 185 amp batteries, totaling 1,110 amp hours. These were to be replaced with just two 400 amp Jenison lithium phosphate batteries totaling 800 amp. Whereas we could only use 40% of the AGM batteries totaling 444 amp hours, we could use 80% of the Jenison's, giving some 640 amp hours. That gave us an extra 50% increase in usable energy for half the weight. The saving in weight was a big plus, amounting to some 600 pounds, which is almost the same weight as our heavy rib Slurpee. The first task was to remove the six 185 amp house batteries. In order to save weight, we were also going to remove one of the three 75 amp starter batteries. Weight saving and the extra power were not the only reasons for changing over to lithium. A major factor was convenience. The lithium batteries would take all the power we could throw at them and charge up extremely fast right up to 100% without going through the different stages of bulk, absorb and float. Now we could use the full power of our solar, alternators and generator and even combine those to throw all we could at the batteries and they would still take the charge. This would lead to a dramatic reduction in the number of generator hours used. Also, with lithium batteries you get out almost all the energy that you put in. This is not the case with other batteries. With other batteries, as they discharge, their voltage drops. This is not the case with lithium, which provides a constant voltage throughout its discharge cycle. When the batteries are left without charge, they exhibit a low storage energy loss over time. And of course, they take up less space. In our case, we have an extra cupboard under the seat. The only apparent disadvantage of lithium batteries is their high cost. However, you only need purchase half the amp hours of normal batteries to get the same usable output and that halves the cost to begin with. With lithium batteries lasting at least three times longer than AGM batteries, you can divide that remaining cost by a third and of course, in addition, you have all the other major explained benefits whilst you're using them. We chose the Jenison batteries for a number of reasons. At 400 amp hours each, they gave more amp hours per dollar. Their battery management system, designed for the marine environment, was the best we could find. They also come in a beautiful solid aluminium case. Each battery had its own control panel. We chose just catamarans at the Lauderdale Marine Centre to do the installation. This was the first Jenison system that just catamarans had installed and they did a good job. If, for any reason, the battery management system shuts off the batteries, these toggle switches reset them. The two control panels were fitted here, back to back. We had to have the alternator feed the battery management system in the main battery bank, and not the starter batteries. We configured the system so that the engine started from the main house bank, not the normal starter bank. The starter bank was charged from a DC charger coming from the main bank. This meant that we could always switch over to the starter batteries to start the engines and they would be fully charged. Of course, in normal use, we would just start the engines from the house bank. To complete the job, just catamarans built cupboards under these seats for us. There will be a follow-up video showing these batteries in use on Sully Air. What we can say now 
is that during the first few months of using these batteries, we were delighted with them. <laughs>